Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can integrate GoLive with Dynatrace. So why integrate Dynatrace? It's because in GoLive, all your environments have statuses. That's the color here in my matrix. And I can see at a glance that e-commerce integration uh, one, I guess, is currently down. So that status uh, is per environment and can be updated manually. But maybe for some environments or ideally for all of them, you have a monitoring tool uh, that is already monitoring them. And by integrating that, that information of the status will be always up to date. So that's what I'm going to show you today. In Dynatrace, I have defined three different monitoring. So that's called a synthetic monitor in Dynatrace. One for e-commerce integration, one e-commerce production and e-commerce staging. If I have a look at my synthetic monitor for e-commerce staging, I see that I have here defined a tag, which is the go live and ID number six. And that corresponds to my e-commerce staging environment ID that I can find here, six. So that's how we link the monitoring with the go live environment. Then if I edit it, I see that in the HTTP request, I have defined a URL that I'm going to ping. So right now it's pinging upwhite.com. Uh, so of course the, the, the sub website is up, so it, it works. If I change the URL for a fake URL and I say I save it, then it's going to fail and a problem is going to be raised in Dynatrace. So in order to see that quickly, I'm going to on, make an on-demand execution. So here I'm forcing Dynatrace to try to ping that environment. And that way it will take one to two minutes uh, for the problem to be raised in Dynatrace. When the execution is finalized, there should be one problem that was created uh, under the problem section. As you can see here, e-commerce staging, uh, I have a problem. If I check the go live status, I see that now the staging has switched to down and that was automated. So how did it go? In fact, we have defined under the settings integration, so you can find it here under problem notification. We have added uh, the go live problem notification where we are calling the go live rest api so for that we need an authorization so we need a token you can generate it from go live as per the instructions paste it here and then we have the payload so each time there will be a problem raised dynatrace is going to call uh, that url using that payload and here, as you can see, we add the go live and ID tag, so the, the ID of the environment uh, in the payroll. And we switch the status to down when the incident is open and to up when the incident is resolved. Of course, here you can customize uh, as per your needs. So that's how it worked. And now if I go back to my monitoring, I'm going to update it again for the correct URL so that we can check if the switch back to up is going to work. So again, I change it, I save it. I force the execution. If we go back under the problems, we see uh, that the problem is now solved, the one on uh, e-commerce staging. And by going back to go live, refreshing the page, we see that the status is now up. So it seems to work. 
If you are facing any difficulties with that integration, feel free to reach out. So open a ticket on our customer support and we'll be very happy to help you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.